So if you're anything like me, you absolutely love Daniel Smith watercolors, but you absolutely cannot afford to go out and buy every single one because you are not made of money. But I have decided to problem solve some of this situation for myself and I decided to share with you um, just kind of a hot tip on a way that you can discover without spending a bajillion dollars you can discover which colors that are your favorites so you can go out and kind of handpick those so on Amazon and I'm sure through other outlets you can order um, color charts and color dots of Daniel Smith watercolor products I decided to splurge and spend twenty dollars to get a sample of every 238 colors that they offer this is three it comes in four sheets and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little color sample book for myself so that I can flip through it and decide for myself which my favorite colors are. And this is the steps that I'm going to make to do to make that happen. Okay, step one is go grab a watercolor paper sheet, preferably the cheap kind. Okay, this is a brand new one from AC Moore. These cost about six bucks, I think. Okay, this is the nine by 12 size. I'm going to whip off. <clears throat> okay, I have my paper cutter, which is just for convenience. I don't obviously need a paper cutter, but it definitely helps speed things up a bit. Okay, I'm going to cut this into four. So I really need to be holding that four inch sections okay that was not equal but you're gonna get chunks like this okay then what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper cutter or your scissors and cut and divide these up so as you can see in the first row um, well this whole thing is blues and greens I already did the reds this is what they're going to look like at the end. You're going to cut off that little swatch, right? So it's just a color dot, which is literally a sample <clears throat> of the color that you can activate. And it tells you a description of the paint, what series it is, if it's non-staining, low staining, medium staining, or high staining. That is the next bit of information. That's what that that's what that number stands for <clears throat> if it's granulated that's the yes or a no these are no 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 yes this one is granulated and so is this one okay so that's where the particles differentiate from the body of the paint it tells you the transparency if it's tr transparent semi transparent or opaque <clears throat> okay and so that gives you a little facts about each one and a little color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, take my paper cutter and cut a strip. And I'm going to adhere it. I use double-sided tape. You can use Mod Podge. You can use a glue gun, whatever you have. And I'm going to take it, tape it to the top or bottom of my four-inch strip. And then activate it like so. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to... Use my amazing camera footage. Okay, cutting this strip like this. <clears throat> so I'm gonna actually probably trim the top because it's hogging up a little bit more room than I want. And hold on, I need two hands for a second. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my double-sided sticky tape and just run a strip along the back okay so you can see I put the strip along the back and then I can you can do it at the bottom would have been more make more sense but I already started so I'm just gonna keep be have this be consistent <clears throat> excuse my voice I've had like a permanent cold okay so there is the water there's the water there's watercolor samples and then what you can do is my water for each one here you're gonna activate it and I try to do like so it's really saturated at the top 
and then you can you know it'll be more diluted as you hit the bottom this granulates so I can't wait to see how that looks <clears throat> okay so you make a nice you know big color swatch for yourself second one sort of light genuine so I'm thrilled it was like the best 20 bucks ever because you know how I, I love these colors, but I know when you go to the store, you're like, duh, there's 238 colors. How the heck am I supposed to know what they look like? And this lets you really, in the flesh, try each one. It's like, so nice. And this beautiful. Mayan Blue Genuine. Just gorgeous. Okay. Then you can go through each and every single one of their choices. Now, I should mention on Amazon too, or wherever you get your dot samples from, I'm sure you can get it through the company itself. Um, you don't have to buy the full one. They have different combinations of samples. So you can buy one sheet or two sheet and they have them sort of. This one is not even, it's like, it's cobalt pip. Green pale, it pale is for sure. I can't even get it to kind of wake up. <clears throat> All right, let's do one last one. <clears throat> this is all right, and then I can just let it dry. And as you can see, I did the first page already. That's all worms. Okay, and then I'm going to put these in a binder. So I'll have them for forever. And I will show you when I get to that point. Um, and then you have a permanent record of all these colors. So if you need them for a specific project, you're looking for a purple. And it just takes some of the guesswork. Well, it takes all of the guesswork out of trying to find the colors that is right for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole rest of these. It's going to take me a while and then I'll get back to you when I All make right, the Alright, so I just finished um, color swatching each and every one of the 238 color dots from Daniel Smith. And then all I did was um, went to Office Max and I picked up some of these three ring binder hooks and did a little whole bunch in the corner of each and every swatch. And as you can see, I have a perfectly cataloged all of the colors, warms, cools, <clears throat> the neutral family, and all the cool ones that barely show up. But my favorite thing about doing this is that now I have everything perfectly sorted out for myself. And most importantly, I didn't have to rewrite every single one of these ridiculously long named super cool colors so that saved me tons of time and I have nice big beautiful color swatches of each one sorted in their color family I can hang these in my studio wall or put them in a binder but they're super easy compact and fabulous hope you enjoyed thanks for watching